Have you heard the saying, you can have your cake and eat it too? I'm sure you have. This adage is an interesting way to explain mutually exclusive events. The adage refers to the fact that you can't both eat your cake and still have it in front of you at the same time. So having your cake and eating the same cake are mutually exclusive. Two events are defined to be mutually exclusive if they cannot happen at the same time. In other words, if one event happens, the other event cannot happen. Some examples of mutually exclusive events. Think about you turning a left and turning right. You obviously can't do it at the same time. So that's a case of a mutually exclusive event. While tossing a coin, heads and tails are mutually exclusive events. You cannot get heads and tails simultaneously. Similarly, if I take some examples of not mutually exclusive events, turning left and scratching your head. Obviously, you can do it at the same time. So that's a non mutually exclusive event. If I take a pack of cards, kings and hearts are not mutually exclusive. That means I can have a king of hearts. An important point to note is that when two events are mutually exclusive events, then they have no sample points in common. So if S is the sample space, which is the universal set of all outcomes and E1 and E2 are mutually exclusive events, then as you can see in the Venn diagram in front of you, there will be no overlapping between E1 and E2 since they don't have any sample points in common. In the case of a rolling die, event A is described as appearance of an even number and event B is described as appearance of an odd number. Clearly, if one says A has occurred, we can immediately conclude that B has not occurred. So A, the set of 2, 4, 6 and B, the set of 1, 3, 5 are mutually exclusive and A intersection B is null set.